If you are residing in Dubai or just a tourist visiting Dubai, you might have wondered if it's possible to travel from Dubai to Oman by road, as Oman is just our neighboring country. Although the thought of crossing the border from Dubai to Oman can seem daunting, the drive is definitely worth it and the process is super straightforward. In this video, I will tell you all about the process of traveling from Dubai to Oman by car. Oman is such a beautiful country and it offers you a unique and authentic experience of a traditional Arabian country. Apart from the scenery that Oman offers, the people of Oman are actually very nice and friendly, which is an added bonus. First and most important thing on any road trip is to get some snacks. So now we are set for the road trip. No, the first thing is actually to wake up early. So tip number one is to start the trip early. The trip is supposed to take a little bit over five hours, but with the stops for sightseeing and sometimes slow drives as well, I would think it would take around seven hours. So let's see how it will go. So we've got the bad boy loaded up here and we are ready to start the road trip to Oman. The easiest road for the border crossing from Dubai to Oman is the Hatta border crossing. If you are coming from Dubai, take the Dubai Hatta road, then Emirates road, through Sharjah all the way to the Hatta border crossing. So right now I just took a break from uh, driving. I've been driving for about uh, one and a half hours and I am about 15 minutes uh, away to reach the border between Oman and Dubai. I just stopped here to contemplate a little bit of these mountain views here, which is quite different from what we usually see in Dubai. And uh, before we move to the border, I just want to give you a little bit more information about the visa requirement to get into Oman. So when it comes to the visa for entering Oman, from Dubai, you will need to apply for a visa. You can apply at the immigration counters at the border crossing if you're a tourist, for example. So if you are from any GCC countries and if you are coming from Dubai, most probably, so it's easier to actually apply for a tourist visa on the Oman government website, which is quite straightforward. You just need to have a copy of your passport, a passport photo and your Emirates ID with you and you will get your visa within the next four to five days but one important thing is that your passport should not expire within the next six months from the date you apply for your visa in Oman this is something to keep in mind when you apply for the visa the process is quite simple and will save you from being stuck at the border trying to get your visa so for the border crossing what you will need in terms of documents and fees while crossing from Dubai to Oman and back keep these documents handy for you and your fellow travelers as this will save you time and hassle at the border crossing. So first document is obviously your passport. Second is your Emirates ID if you're a resident of the United Arab Emirates and any other proof of identity and of course your driving license. Important thing to note here is to check that the car insurance that you have in Dubai also applies for Oman which is usually the case. But if not, then you have to take insurance at the border crossing for your car in Oman. And thirdly, you will pay something called a departure tax from the UAE, which is 35 dirhams. You will pay that only when crossing from Dubai to Oman and not on the way back from Oman. So when it comes to the actual border crossing from Dubai to Oman, it took us about 30 minutes to go through both immigration and customs. The workers at the border control are quite nice and I was asked no funny questions. You will be asked to step out of your car while the police do their routine inspection and then after that you're off to go and explore Oman. So on the way back to Dubai, it took about the same time for the border control and crossing. Only thing that I noticed is that 
on re-entering Dubai, the police control is a little bit more stringent. Other than that, very smooth re-entry in Dubai and the UAE. Just an extra tip, mainly for tourists, the best time to visit Oman is from October to April, as the temperatures can go as low as 20 degrees. Overall, the drive from Dubai to Oman was quite nice. It took me about 7 hours to complete it, and you will find yourself alone on the road in so many instances, which is quite nice to enjoy the surroundings. So that's it from me. I hope this video shows you how simple it is to plan your road trip from Dubai to Oman. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.